Hey guys, and welcome to the Flurn Studio. Come on in, we'll take a tour. All right guys, welcome to the entryway of Flurn. You'll see, like the first thing basically is you walk into the door is uh, our wall here where we've got our logo just in case someone's lost, they <laughs> know what company they're at. Um, but more importantly are all these Polaroids on the wall. We take pictures of basically everyone who comes by the studio and uh, we have a ton of events, parties, you know, Halloween parties, things like that, inviting all of our friends over and, you know, photo shoots and just when come, people come over to hang out after hours and whatnot. Um, we try to take Polaroids of them and it, it's, it's a lot of fun, it's just a way for everyone to kind of like become part of the family themselves and uh, we put it up here on the wall so as soon as you walk in the door you're like, oh man, these guys have, uh, you know, at least <laughs> a decent bit of fun. You can look through these, I mean there's nothing at all serious going on in any of these pictures here. So uh, that's kind of like the whole idea, it's like as soon as you walk in the door you know you're at a place that cares about people and likes to have a lot of fun and uh, you actually become part of the family as well. We've also got Baxter here, um, guarding the entry all the way. You guys rem might remember him from the Baxter shoot. So he's he's just hanging out, he's our little guard dog, and everyone who comes through the door has to uh, get by him. That's the big test. All right, so here we are in Flern Studios. So you can see we keep things relatively open just so we uh, have a space that we can actually use uh, for just about anything. First thing you guys might notice, uh, over here is actually where we record our episodes, right in the middle of where we normally do our photo shoots. So this is where I sit, and there's a camera and a light, and I say things like, Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nays. You can find us on Twitter, at Flurn. So getting up from here, we're going to go talk about uh, some of our gear that we use. We've got the lovely Cat Filipinas over here. <laughs> organizing our gear. <laughs> I guess another benefit of keeping super organized is in the middle of the photo shoot sometimes you need something and you need it right away. It doesn't make sense to look for 10 minutes for like a clamp when it should just be in the place where the clamps go. So if you guys have things like totally scattered around, uh, pick up some bins. It makes it a lot easier and it's going to save a lot of time on the photo shoot itself which in the end makes a much better product. So over here we have our shooting area. This is really, really cool. Basically, we just keep this area open and uh, no matter what we're doing, if we need to set up some seamless, this is where the seamless goes. We just shot like a Juicy Kicks, the, some Jordans, and uh, this is where we built the pool, we built sets, everything like that. You don't need a ton of space for this sort of thing and uh, this is works out being pretty much perfect. So things get set up here and uh, we usually have like a shoot cart set right back here and uh, keep all this area open so we can go as far back as we need to and photograph right in this direction. We also do work on location, but that has absolutely nothing to do with this episode. So we keep most of our light stands and gear like this on the wall. We have a brick wall, so we just kind of like screw these hooks into the wall and uh, that's what holds everything. This is actually kind of cool. This is one of those uh, things that you use in like a broom closet for like putting brooms and things like that. Works pretty well with extension arms too. Just push them right into place. You get it at Home Depot for like three bucks. Um, these are, you know, just regular old screw hooks like this. And uh, up at the top, we put a, uh, a row of uh, Velcro up there that basically all a lot of the soft boxes that you purchase are gonna have Velcro built into them already. We went ahead and sewed in a little bit more Velcro on the top of our soft boxes as well. And it creates a really nice, easy way to store your soft boxes. You just kind of stick it up where the Velcro is, pat it in place, and uh, they haven't fallen down since. So that's pretty fun. Cool. I'm gonna take you guys over to our lounge area right now. Um, we built a lounge basically so when clients come over or people for the shoots and things like that, um, they can just kind of sit and hang out and they don't have to like stand around and, and kind of hover. So having like a relatively comfortable area um, is kind of important. Um, so this is, you know, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate, just a couple of couches, um, some nice lighting and uh, things like that. And also it's nice during work, we can hang out here, have meetings and things like that here too. So if you're you're in a space like this with a bunch of creative people and things like that, it's just really nice to have something that's comfortable. So it doesn't feel like so much like an office, it feels a little bit more like a home. So we fill it with little details like personal things like this like neon A that I got in North Carolina. It's also a good place to like put our prints up. Um, we've got a TV so we can watch movies and 
um, you know, beam like Apple TV, we can like beam the computer onto here so we, during our uh, meetings and things like that, we can like check the calendar and everything like that. So it's a good like uh, screen saver so people can kind of see what we do here as well. So that's kind of like the lounge area and um, right over here we have our, uh, just like a little tabletop bar and it's a really nice area to kind of meet when people are coming over as well. They can kind of plop down, plug their computer in and uh, do a little bit of work. So oftentimes we'll have clients or friends, things like that come over and it's just really nice to be able to point at the screen like that <laughs> and, um, and hang out. So it's also nice to have a couple different levels. So people can kind of like work on this level of the bar as well as like, you know, hang out down there and uh, kind of within a relatively small area, it still creates a really nice contrast between, you know, like up here is kind of like work mode, down there is like hangout mode and kind of like don't get in each other's way. So um, just having a couple areas like comfortable, like kind of cool seating is nice. Um, this, uh, a buddy of ours built this. This is reclaimed lumber. It used to be like in a water tower. So it's actually six stands all the way over there and uh, becomes one of the steps in our stair, in our stair which is kind of cool. So um, just little areas like this for people to kind of get together. Um, we got this, this pretty nice way to do the studio. All right, next we're going into the conference room. We make sure to snap activate all of our doors here at Flurn, just makes things a little bit easier. We also use this as like a private area, so when we're recording Flurn Pro tutorials, things like that, that's gonna be all in this room. So normally these things are all cleared up and we have uh, our meetings and whatnot right here. It's just a nice place that's separated from everything else that we can like really focus in on individual meetings, things like that. If we need to have talks with teammates, tell them that they're doing too good of a job and they need to back that effort down a little bit, this is where it happens. All right, over here we've got a magazine rack. People come in and hang out of the studio. Um, they can pick what they want to hang out with David LaChapelle or Resource Magazine or Mario Testino. This is where we keep all these uh, books and magazines and uh, also for us keeping inspired and staying in tune with the industry is really important. So um, we subscribe to all these things and uh, just a good way to stay in touch. Now I'm gonna show you guys where all the magic happens. So most people watch Flurn, I guess, think it's all about the photo shoots and everything like that. And that is a lot of fun. But at the end of the day, we're an online video production and education company. So a lot of our work actually happens on computers, which I know is very sad, but it's just the truth. So um, this is our upstairs where everyone is uh, working on our computers. So we've got um, here at the table where people come in and out and uh, are working constantly on editing video and social media and customer service and um, just being general badasses. And uh, we keep track of basically everything up here. Uh, we're a pretty tight knit group. We're a small company, obviously. So like everyone's up here. There's no like hierarchy. Everyone's on the exact same level. We have conferences and you know team meetings and everything. Everyone's right up here. So um, it's also really nice. We can look right over here. So if people are, um, you know, during a photo shoot or whatever, they can look right down over here onto our actual photo shoot area as well. And uh, so we can get work done and kind of orchestrate everything uh, looking over it as well. So it's just a really nice area to have up here and get things done. And uh, that's pretty much the heart of Fern right up here. So welcome to the bar. Uh, we have a bar basically People come over to the studio, we can offer them a drink or two, nothing crazy, just to help everyone feel nice and comfortable. We have a lot of events at the studio as well, and uh, this is a great place for people to kind of like come together and congregate. So if someone wants a glass of wine to feel a little more relaxed on a photo shoot, things like that, um, we're happy to provide them. So we spend a ton of time at our studio. It's nice to be able to have a fully stocked fridge and oven and microwave and all that good stuff because it's, you know, everyone pretty much lives here. So we want to be able to feel like we can cook food and make food and everything like that. So having a kitchen is, um, it's just really, 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 really nice. We lucked out with a kitchen. I'm not saying it's essential, but we really, really appreciate having one. Now we're in the bathroom, which is very exciting, but uh, actually it is kind of cool. We did get a shower installed. So if we are relatively messy on a photo shoot, models need to keep clean. People spend the night at the studio. It's just a little bit nicer to have this uh, like place that they can clean up. It's a good place to display a couple of our uh, pinups. Other than that, there have been many famous dumps taken here. Thanks for taking a tour of the studio with us. Now it's time for you to get the f out. Come on, really, get out. Get out, get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs>